Hi everyone, today, I'm going to teach you how to install macOS Sonoma on your PC or laptop. Installing macOS to a non-Apple hardware is called Hackintosh. Is your computer supported? We will refer to Dortania Anti-Hackintosh Buyer's Guide. All the components that are supported are listed here, as well as the things to avoid. Starting off with the CPU. In order for you to run a latest version of Mac OS at least to have Intel Core i3, i5, i7, or i9, and for AM to processor, such as Bulldozer, Jaguar, Ryzen, and Threadripper, for lower-end processor like Celeron or Atom or equivalent is not advisable. Use Linux instead on those architecture. In this table of Intel processor, we will look into the generation of it, 2nd to 13th generation as of this recording the code name with its built-in graphics card. Each generation has the initial supported version of Mac OS it can run. Until to the highest version, it can run natively. For laptop users, look for 7th generation to 10th generation for they can support until Sonoma, while other generation can run on lower version. But if you want to install Sonoma on lower generation, you will use the Open Core Legacy Patcher. Laptop users with 11th generation to 13th generation are in bad luck. You won't be able to use a Hackintosh due to there are no supported GPU on these generation. It would be laggy without graphic acceleration. PC users with 11th generation to 13th generation, you need a supported GPU for them to work. Let's go with the GPU. NVIDIA will only run on High Sierra. You can't run NVIDIA on the latest Mac OS version. There is no drivers for it to work. Go for AMD. There are various cards that are supported. Original RX 560, RX 580, RX 590, RX 6600. These are all unsupported list of GPU. Apple and Nvidia has love-hate relationship. If you want to make them work, you need the Open Core Legacy Patcher. But that's for another video. Let's focus for those that are supported first. As for the motherboards, refer to the wide range of recommended ones. This applies to the PC users only. For laptop user, any brand like Lenovo, NEC, Asus, Acer, and other are typically supported. Now to check your hardware, right-click the Start menu, then Device Manager. Under Device Adapter, Network Adapter, Processor. Then, check the table of which version of Mac OS you want to install on your machine. Once done, let's download the necessary files to start. We will need a 30 to gigabytes of USB flash drive, Mac OS image, AIFI folder. This will be the config files, Disk Genius, and Belina Etcher. All the links will be on the description box. For the Mac OS image, go to Ola Rila website, scroll down and select Sonoma with the Media Fire link, scroll down and click Free Access. Click Skip, and it will start downloading. For the AIFI folder, scroll down for Open Core. We have Desktop or Laptop. Select your proper generation. Next one, Disk Genius. Just click Free Download and followed by Belina Etcher Portable. Let's download them all. Once everything is done downloading, move them on the desktop. Install Disk Genius and close the installation window. Let's move it to the trash. Extract the AFI folder, right-click and extract all. Move the zip file to the trash. Now insert your USB flash drive to the computer and open Belina Etcher. Drag the Mac OS Sonoma to Belina, select your disk, then click Flash.
And if you have a window that pops up like this, saying to format the USB, just close that window. Belina will take some time to flash it, take some coffee, then close Belina when flashing is done. Now open Disk Genius. Locate your USB on the left, click the AFI. Now click File above it. Right click the A if I folder, delete files directly. Click Delete. Now on your desktop, go to the downloaded A if I folder that we extracted. Drag the A if I folder into Disk Genius. Click Yes. Click Complete, then close Disk Genius. Now let's Google for the BIOS key of your computer. I'm going to use the NEC laptop to install Sonoma. Replace the brand of your computer to search for the BIOS key. For me, I will use F2 while booting up the laptop. On the BIOS settings, we will change SATA to Achi Mode, Secure Boot Disable, and CSM. Every BIOS are different for every brand. Just disable the needed settings. Insert the USB flash drive to the target computer. After pressing the power button, press the BIOS key, in my case F2. Keep pressing it until you see the BIOS settings on your screen. To navigate the settings, press the arrow keys, enter, or escape key. Some BIOS are different. Some can use a mouse. But in this case, I will press the arrow keys and change the required settings for installation to work and we will make the boot sequence on the first priority will be our USB flash drive. Once everything is set, go to exit and save the changes. We will now boot into the USB. Select the install Mac OS Sonoma then enter. It will now load the recovery menu. Click Disk Utility, then Continue. Go to View and select Show All Devices. Under Internal Drive, select your storage, then click Erase on the right. Put any name of your drive. Format would be Mac OS Extended Journaled. And Scheme will be GUI to Partition Map. Click Erase. Click Done and Close Disk Utility. Now click Install Mac OS Sonoma, then Continue. Click Continue. Click Agree then Accept. Select your storage and click Continue. It will now start to install on your computer. Leave it for some time. It will reboot a several time. Don't remove the USB flash drive. Wait for it until you see the welcome screen set up. Later that day. While on the welcome screen, you can now set up your fresh install macOS Sonoma. Go through it with the window until you reach the desktop. One final step for this installation. Open the USB flash disk. There's a files folder. Then open up Open Core Configurator. If you see a pop-up that says Open Core is cannot be opened because of cannot be verified, open the settings, privacy, and security. Scroll the way down. Click something like Open Anyway. Go in back to Open Core. Click the small icon on the upper right. Look for the Open Core Boot Partition. Click the Mount Partition button. Type in your password. Close the window that pops up.
Go back to the icon again. Click Open Partition. Click the small icon again. This time locate your USB flash drive. Mine is called Ultra. Click the Mount Partition button. Click OK to this pop-up. Close the window that pops up. Go back to the icon again. Click Open Partition of the USB. Now just drag the EFI folder to the other window. This will make your computer boot without the USB flash drive. Congratulations if you made it successfully from here. That's about it on how you can install macOS Sonoma on your PC or laptop. Now if you're having a problem with your configuration, you can check this video. If you're having trouble logging in to your iMessage or FaceTime, click this video. In case your Wi-Fi adapter is not working, click this video to fix it right away. I will also link on the description below which mini PC or laptop that runs well on Hackintosh. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't do so.